Steve Ducey. All right, Elizabeth and uh, Brian, thank you very much. Tony, thanks for uh, thanks. joining us here thanks in the studio. Jay, all right, ISIS. You got Syria and Iraq right here. Where is ISIS? Draw it in red. Show us where ISIS is. Well, you see right here, outlined very well in black. You're talking about the heart of ISIS. Now, let's be very clear. Okay. This is where they've been most effective all through this area here. Basically, you have Jordan. You have uh, on this side here. You have the Kurds over here. And those are the good guys. Right. The best thing we have, and they've been pushing back on ISIS. They are essentially the only military force being effective in pushing them back. Okay. So, regarding if that's where ISIS is right, right now and we know that uh, let's see, al-Baghdadi, this is where those Marines are essentially five miles from ISIS, right? Well, let's be clear. They are taking fire on a daily basis. I've talked to folks who have people in there. And, Steve, it's not what the Pentagon's saying. Look, really? they're, getting, they're getting direct mortar fire on a nightly basis. And any time you can have enemy in uniform pretending to be you, make it through your perimeter, sure. that is bad. So this is, this is a, a, basically a base under siege right now. And then not too far from there is Baghdad. That's the jackpot. Right. Well, that's where we talked about before. If uh, Baghdad International Airport falls, I think game is over because, look, everything around Baghdad is ISIS. Now, according to the Pentagon, they think they can recapture al-Baghdadi within two, about two weeks. Okay. I am skeptical but hopeful. What's the number one thing they should be hitting right now? Us. Okay. Two things. First, you can see here on the map, these are huge distances. Everything that they do should be targeted. During the day, A-10 should rove, a tank killers that kill everything in their path, okay. rove during the day, and at night, the AC-130 should be devastating these folks so they cannot move. Boom, right boom, now, they're boom. being effective because they can swarm on targets, effectively hit that target, go okay. back into the and we're not hitting them when they're, when they're sitting out. All right, let's go to the next map, and we're going to show a little more about what is going on in the region right. as well. All right, okay. uh, this is ISIS in Iraq. All right. right. We got to look at Mosul. One of the key, th key things here is after the the, the Kobani was a victory up right there, up here. Right, right. We need to get up here and get the work with the Kurds moving in there. Right now, we actually have a base in the, in the Kurd area. We should, we're talking about setting up a permanent base. We need to work with the Kurds, Steve, to go back in here and start pushing them back. If I were a ground commander, I would try to find a way to get the Kurds to split in the middle, basically cut ISIS down from being able to move from right. Syria to Baghdad and start moving across the, this area right and here. Here's the problem: all these black flags. Exactly. That's ISIS. And and they're Look growing, at that. and they're growing. So this is, they're not giving up. And see, you can see down here, even the south. So the good news is, if there's any, is that the, the, the Shia strongholds, which is their Sunni Shia, the Shia strongholds are not easy for them to take, as well as the Kurds. So that's the only good news at this point in time. All right, Tony, we've got one more map. And right. if you ask me, it's uh, the most terrifying map of all. This goes to show where ISIS is across the, uh, that part of the world. We knew it was in Iraq and right. Syria. And we know it is in, uh, let's see, uh, you got Yemen now. That's a, that's a headline for us. And Afghanistan. And you're right in there as well. But look at all these other spots. Anywhere al-Qaeda was, you can assume ISIS is or going to be soon. The whole network that we didn't devastate, and Brian said this earlier, Steve, mm -hmm. about how we're not doing human, we're not penetrating the network. Right. If, if you don't penetrate the network, you can't understand how it functions. What's happened is that ISIS now, like a virus, has taken this over and mm -hmm. are becoming more and more vicious. You saw what happened in, in Libya with Egypt. It's going to continue to happen. These mm -hmm. guys are taking over the al-Qaeda network. And I circled Yemen. That actually is a headline. That's your intelligence tells you what about Yemen. The, the ISIS folks are not going to leverage the advantage they think they can gain by the fact that al-Qaeda is there, as well as the, 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 uh, the, the uh, Houthi, or, who are the Iranian-backed mm -hmm. folks. There's so much chaos there, they're going to move in. Sure. This is the key about ISIS. Wherever there's chaos, no governance, they're going to jump in and take over. Sure. And keep in mind as well that while, for the most part, the beheadings and things like that have been concentrated up here in Syria and Iraq, it was the Egyptians who were grabbed in Libya. And, and this is paraded out on the beach. Right. This is key right now. Egypt has the biggest, effect, most effective military. They've been sitting us out so far, but now they're in the game. Uh, I, we've been saying that we need to find a way to bring the coalition together to be a permanent treaty organization, a NATO, if you will, an Arab NATO, to have even the Egyptians and Jordanians lead it. But enlightened sure. self-interest, people are now getting in the game because they're getting their people beheaded, and it's time to get serious. Okay. Let me ask you this. Sure. Uh, all this red. It's not that far to Europe, is it? No. And it's not that far, too. If you look at Indonesia, Australia. There's Australia right there. And the Philippines has always been a hotbed. So we're talking right now, effectively, and, and, and the only good news, another, another good spot of good news, is the fact we killed the ISIS commander in Afghanistan about uh, three weeks ago. Right. And that's, where, that's the only success so far. But everywhere al-Qaeda was, 
ISIS is now taking over and becoming effective. Now, all these red spots, is that ISIS per se, or is this like a franchise? No, no, this is actual ISIS recruiters, people yeah. who are ISIS hardcore moving out to do this. So this is not simply people thinking, oh, I want to join. This is not the lone wolves we've been talking about. This is actually ISIS with a deliberate effort, with a plan, going forward to subsume and take over the al-Qaeda network and start doing evil globally. More and more red. That is a bad sign. Not good. All right. Tony Schaefer, thank you very thank much. Thank you, sir.